Yeah, it's, it's really exciting to start with a solo race, and it's it's a big race as well. So it's pretty much uh, a thousand miles, a little bit less, and the weather's looking pretty light. So I think we're going to be out there a long time, uh, maybe maybe as much as six days. But but at the moment, this time of the year, it's it's very unstable forecast. Uh, there's due to be some some potential storms around end of the week, so we could end up with a, a lot of wind and a really challenging race uh, towards the finish. So um, the race route is actually a, a triangular course of the Bay of Biscay. Uh, first we go to Spain, to Gijón, we round a mark there, and then we head north all the way up to Land's End. So we round uh, a, a point called Wolf Rock, just off Land's End, and then it's all the way back uh, around Brittany and to Le Sable's Lawn. So the, the first couple of days it's going to be really tricky because it's uh, very light winds in Biscay. So we've got to, we've got to cross a region of very light winds uh, twice. And, and then when we get north, uh, north of Brittany into the channel, then we can break in some, some proper winds and, and yeah, we could, have some, uh, we could have some decent winds up there. I think uh, the main challenge is, is, is going to be um, not making any mistakes the first uh, couple of days in the, in the light winds uh, and really keeping uh, the boat positioned well relative to the rest of the fleet. I think it's going to be important to take into account all the little shifts in the wind uh, and make sure that we can use them to our advantage and gain every little bit uh, of distance early on in the race. And I think, I think the, um, the, the leg up to, to Wolf Rock um, it could see the fleet extend quite a bit. Uh, and then who knows what's gonna happen at the end because the forecast is very unpredictable at the moment. Well, you know, being a solo race and uh, nearly a thousand miles, it's, it's really throwing ourselves back into the deep end in, in solo mode. The last solo race I did was two years ago in the Transat. So, um, yeah, for me, it's a, it's a case of, of really testing the boat in solo configuration, um, really um, trying to work on uh, my sleep management as well, and making sure I don't get too fatigued in solo mode over the course of six days, which is, which is very difficult, uh, and also um, playing at the front of the fleet. So hopefully um, we, can, uh, we can actually get a podium finish in this race, and, and that'll be a great start to the season. So there's yeah, a few new boats that have been built and there's one new boat that is in this race with, uh, with a skipper who has done a little bit of sailing on it but not much. So it's going to be interesting to see how he gets on. He's on a, another new Mac 3. So it's going to be three, three Mac 3s, which is the evolution to this boat in the race. And then we've got Louis Duc on, on the very extreme um, Lombard design Carrack, which is, which is really good offshore, I think. In, in the light winds he might struggle though, so, so it'll be interesting to see how, how we get on relative to those different designs.